hey guys i know we normally do hot rod and barn finds and all kinds of cool stuff but this is what is known as a duck so a duck is a boat that has wheels they were originally made for the marine corps and the army in world war ii and so they basically have a giant propeller under there and they could carry men from the large troop ships into battle and that's why you see armor and metal and that's why you see the seat up there was where the pilot or driver would sit and they were actually most of the time for the army they were actually controlled by the coast guard so if you were in the coast guard in world war ii you may have actually driven one of these a lot of times now they'll use these for tourists and stuff around um lakes and stuff and they bring supplies and they'll use them down in the bahamas and stuff to uh, supply boats because you could drive right up on the land but as you can see they fit a lot of people inside them now this one is just sitting here in a parking lot and you know here it can it can pull a trailer it can hook up to another one so they can pull themselves through rough waves and here's hatches down into the motors and everything but as you can see i mean they are pretty much made for battle if you notice everything here is shielded with metal so that way if they were getting shot at from the front it would it would hit very thick metal and then they can also hook up and get pulled in they can hook up to each other and they could drive on land and a lot of times the marines would use these on land uh, and they would travel just like a truck would a troop truck so they would drive onto the islands and then use them as trucks once they were there so uh, i just think it's a very cool thing and we are at the classic auto mall this is at the end of their parking lot so welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean, and I'm Sean. guys we are in yet another store i know you guys keep thinking this is the last one it is not the last one in fact i think i'm in, caught in a lot a loop of muscle cars a time loop of muscle cars every time i go to a store it's another loop car so i don't know maybe i just i'm stuck here for eternity all right 63 volvo 1225 amazon this has got frenched and shaved Willard front brakes. This thing was actually made into a very cool looking hot rod. What do you guys think? I think that's a pretty cool hot rod. I would never know it's a Volvo. Pretty cool. I like it. Never seen one turned in like that, but very, very neat. I like that. And then of course the Tornado. Here's a Tornado. Front wheel drive car. One of the first Oldsmobile Tornados was one of the very first front wheel drive major manufactured cars. 67 this has a 425 v8 with a three-speed automatic um look at that interior that is just beautiful it is a blue interior let's walk around let's see what's in here look at that interior that is like the day it came out of the showroom. Really nice. Really nice. Awesome. Okay. Let's continue. Guys, I'm not ignoring like Mustangs and the newer cars on purpose, but I kind of am because we can see these on the car shows. We can see these everyday driving. We can't see a Buick Skylark convertible that's hunter green with a brown interior doing that so really nice car and it's got bench seat up front automatic on the floor 
green with tan or buckskin or whatever they want to call this one. I think this, I want to say 70, 71, 70. 350 V8, four speed automatic, 40,000 original miles, jewel green paint. 40,000 actual miles on that car. That is a sweet, pretty car right there. 1929 Pennsylvania tag for this Buick. 1929 Buick model 29-55 touring car. I could see myself sitting in the back seat. Actually, I'll be honest, I'd always sit in the front seat and drive. I don't care. If I want a lottery, I'd still be sitting there. You guys can all jump in the back. I want to drive. All right. Here's a Starfire. And the Starfire was actually named, Oldsmobile named the Starfire after a jet, the F-94, I think it was F-94 Starfire, um, which was a strange jet that the Air Force flew because it didn't have guns. It only had rockets on each wing. Uh, the tip of the wing had a whole pot of rockets. Now here's a Mercury, nice four-door Mercury. These were also the front ends of the station wagons. And also police cars, Mercury Monterey, 1967, with a 390. I would say that that is not a new paint job. I would say that was the original paint job. This thing even has a giant trailer hitch on it. Because back then, you could put a trailer hitch on a big car and pull a travel trailer. Can't do that now. You'll just pull the bumper off car. A Valiant 200. And we've got an Oldsmobile. And what's this? I bet you this is a 1940 Ford. Cut Deluxe, right? Looks like a 1940 Ford Deluxe, but this one is even more Deluxe because it's been made into a hot rod with a really deep sparkly green paint. 1940 Ford Deluxe Coupe. 221 Flathead V8, three-speed automatic with jade green metallic. And I can tell you that jade green metallic looks about a mile deep. All right, black and white Falcon. This is it. When we say this is not your grandparents' car, this what this was your grandparents' car. Four door Falcon, white stick shift or uh, automatic on the on the on the column. Yeah, this was Grandpa's car. Or this was Grandpa's car. This is another giant Lincoln. Is this an eighty or seventy nine? Lights are up. You can see how the lights are up, but the covers are in there. 76 Lincoln Continental. The 460 V8 Dove Gray. So, here's another Lincoln. Big Lincoln here. This is newer. This is, I would say, let's go with 85. 85 Lincoln Town Car. 302 V8. So... Similar cars, similar colors, giant engine, smaller engine. Really nice little eight ball. Stick shift, four speed, bench seat, green and white, 55 Chevy. All right, nice Fox, well, it's a bullet GT. So it's a real bullet GT, green. So they're rare. It says bullet has the bullet on there. So it is a bullet GT. At least that's what I'm going. Yep. 2001 Ford Mustang bullet. One, one owner. One of only 5,500 bullet GTs. That was built. So one owner car. And they're all green. And they are beautiful cars and very desirable. And then you have an anniversary Corvette. So, the collector's edition. Again, we've seen one of these already here. 82 Corvette collector's edition. And the V8 the crossfire injection. Again, had some issues with catching on fire. Which is why they stopped using it. Firebird. And this is the Esprit. Esprit used to be one of the versions you could get with a Firebird. You could get the Formula. You could get the Trans Am. You could get the Esprit. Then you could also get the Esprit Turbo, actually, as well. 1979 Pontiac Firebird Esprit, 231 V6. And this is a driver. It has not been restored. Very nice. 
All right, we're moving into this. This looks like trucks. We've got an El Camino here. Nice El Camino. 350 El Camino, so your standard. Not your SS, although it says SS. This is it an SS? Let's see. It doesn't say SS, but everything here says SS. 305 V8. Yeah, not the 72. This was not an SS. We got a couple Jeeps here. Dennis Collins, if you're looking. There's a Willys. Here's a Rubicon. Here's a Pro Stock Dodge truck. Yep, Pro Stock. It's all ready to go. He's got all the painless uh, wiring. Everything else is in here. He's got some giant meats on the back. Roll cage. So, pretty nice truck. Let's see. Garage Thornburg PA. 64 Ford F100 fleet side. Nice patina on this one. So this is a Viper SRT 10 engine. This is the Viper truck that came out a couple years ago. Pretty rare trucks, pretty crazy to drive. Absolutely nuts to hold on to. Oh, somebody bought the fire engine. Someone bought the fire truck. And this one's got the engine sticking through the hood. What's up with that? So, how you doing? Another old Willys Jeep right here. So, with tow bar on it. Grumpy's toy, Bill Jenkins. Uh, I'm wondering if this is a Jenkins original or if this is... Let's see, is this Jenkins original or is this a uh, tribute? I would say you're not going to put this much money into a tribute, are you? 1980 Chevy Camaro, Camaro 466 V8. Exact, it is a replica of Grumpy's Toy uh, 15. So it is a replica. So it was not his, but it is an exact replica and it would be fun to take the kids around the neighborhood in this. There you go. Signed, but very, very cool. Grumpy Story Bill Jenkins replica. Funny car right there. So you're saying you want a funny car for the house. And you just don't know where to find one. Well, come to where we're at today. And you can buy this and take it home today. What can I do to put you in this car today? Watch. Let us know. All right, guys. So here's the thing. You're not really a straight line kind of guy you kind of you like your turns you like your curves you you like turning left a lot so if you like turning left a lot you probably don't want a grumpy's toy replica you don't want to just go straight you want to drive around the neighborhood well if you want to drive around the neighborhood and you live in a circle why not get the newman's crown royal car this is available as well you drive by yourself, but you can go around the world to the left to your heart's delight whenever you want. This is the 1996 Pontiac Firebird IROC race car. This is the real one. Now, when we were down in Kissimmee at the Mecham auction a couple years ago, they had a bunch of these for all, all the IROCs they were selling out. I don't know if that's where this came from, but uh, Ryan Newman's Crown Royal be a champion, drink responsibility, responsible. This is a really nice car and it's got all the safety features you want to drive around the neighborhood, except that you can't bring anybody with you. But very cool IROC car. It's the number 12. And if we take a look inside, it's got a 358 V8 four speed um, bill of sale because this thing doesn't come with a title because it's a race car race cars don't have titles 
It's IROC Penske built. Um, it's set up for the Daytona race. But it is a real true race car. It does not come with any kind of crew people or instructions. So if you buy it and you break it, well, that's your problem. But in the meantime, it does have a stoplight because IROX had stoplights. So you at least get a one stoplight behind the driver. One brake light. Other than that, you're on your own. All right, we've got a nice monster Chevy truck there. A nice Ford F100 Custom here. A couple other trucks in here. Nice International. Nice F150. A street legal Duramax diesel Hummer. And that's an, look, that's an H1, guys, not an H2. This is an H1. And it is a 2006 Hummer H1 Alpha. Now, problem is, and I don't know which state it is, but one of the states just outlawed all Hummers. And they mailed all the titles back to anybody with a Hummer, even the ones you could buy from a dealership. And I don't know what state that is, so check with whatever state it was. I saw it on, on the news last week. All right. 85 AMC Jeep CJ7. Dennis Collins, if you're watching, here's another one you might be interested in. Uh, Huey Truck Bodies from Lebanon, PA. What is this? Dump truck. Well, a Brockway. Remember I was saying Brockway? My cousin had a Brockway, and I always... The whole day, the other day, I was talking when we were in that truck junkyard down in South Carolina, and I was saying, oh, I hope we find a Brockway. Well, we found a Brockway. So Matt, my cousin down in uh, Kissimmee, Matt Libel, here's a Brockway for you. Pretty cool Brockway dump truck. It's a lot smaller than the one your dad had for you because that was a full size, but this is a Brockway dump truck. Pretty cool. All right, we got a Wrecker. This is a big old F one something wrecker back when everything was hand cranks and wires square body gmc blacked out ranchero this looks like it was for speed because look at the wheels i wonder if this was something that they ran to see how fast they could go in it but if they did they should have a cover on the bed i would think a big old delivery panel truck a diamond t I remember diamond tees, Fords, and uh, I don't know what this is. Oh, a Citroen. So these are from France. When I lived over in Europe for a short time, everybody had one of these. Now, this is pretty cool, and you don't see these much anymore because you might see the front, but you'll never see the back. So the Atlantic Refining Company, this is like an old 1950s gasoline kerosene motor oil truck. So this was a tractor trailer back in the day. This was a tanker and they could carry all three at the same time. So they would carry gasoline, kerosene and motor oil. And this would always go with this truck. So they kind of matched up a Dodge RE31 truck, 241 cubic inches, very nice Dodge truck, pretty cool. You guys may even see some of these in toy stores and think, oh, that's a cute toy. But no, that's what they really look like. Super Duty Ford. A couple other pickup trucks here. A Custom Camper 2350. The Custom Campers, these things were awesome. Let's see. We got a couple other pickup trucks back here. We got a K5, is that K5 Blazer. Uh, another Jeep. We've got another big 4x4 Chevy truck. A couple of these older Chevys. <clears throat> another strip truck. Lowered truck back here. Let's take a quick look. <clears throat> 83 Chevy C10. Teal with big tires and tubs in the back. And then here's a Pro Street. This is a 71, 69. I always want to say 70, but I always get burned when I say that. 71, Chevy C10, 350 V8, chopped, shaved, and tubbed, custom interior. There's the interior. 
all set for taking to the strip. Really nice paint job. That's a really pretty looking truck. I don't know if you can see the flames, but, and the back's all covered with a fiberglass and it's all chopped and everything. Really cool truck. All right. The TDI Defender. <coughs> Excuse me. Another El Camino. El Camino. That's the El Camino back there. All right. So we've covered all the trucks and the funny car and the IROC. <coughs> Next, we're going to go across the hall into that over there. April, should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one? Probably just for this one. It says merchandise store right here merchandise store link you will see it says https forward slash junkyards dash bar dash barn dash finds with and you click on that and it's going to take you here